To be good at mental math, there are lots of things to memorize. For example, the multiplication table is the first thing that you must memorize. In this video, I'm going to provide you a couple things that are good to memorize. For example, perfect squares, perfect cubes, perfect powers of 2, perfect powers of 3, and small primes. Here is a list of some small perfect squares. You may say, wow, how do I remember all of them? Well, different people have different strategies. Some people may use flashcards. Other people like to copy things over and over again to remember them. I try to observe patterns. First, 121 and 144 are already memorized by most students. 169, I try to remember that 9 is a square of 3 and 6 is double of 3. 196 is just switching 6 and 9. As for 15 square, 25 square, or anything ending with a 5, it's actually very easy. They are always ending with 25. As for the number in front of 25, it's calculated in the following way. You take this frontal part and multiply it to its next number. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 multiplied to its next number, that is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. If you want to know 35 squared, for example, you always write down 25 at the end, and then you calculate 3 times its next number, which is 4, and you get 12. You can also reference this trick to another video that I've made. 16 square, I just try to memorize it by itself. As for 17 square, all the way to 23 squared, because they are fairly close to 20, you notice that 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, and 52 are just increasing by 4 each time. 24 square, I try to remember it by itself. After that, it's pretty interesting. Notice that 76, 76, 29, 29, 84, 84, 41, 41, 0, 0, 0, 0, 61, 61, 24, 24, 89, 89. And this pattern will continue. It turns out that all the digits for the last two is always reflecting across the 25 squared. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Another thing that I want to point out is the following. Notice that 12 is spelling 1, 2. When it's squared, it's 1, 4, 8, 4. 21 is spelling 2, 1, so it's just reversing 1 and 2. Therefore, your square is just reversing the 1, 4, 8, 4. 1, 4, 4. 4, 4, 1. Do you see? 13 square is just reverse of 31. So when you have 169 here, you will have 961 here. 32 squared is very important, and I will talk about it in the later slides. As for 33 squared, we will try to remember that as 3 times 11 times 3 times 11. And therefore, you have 11 squared, which is 121. 3 times 3, which is 9. And 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 12 is 108. So you have 1089. Here comes a list of perfect cubes. I will just try to memorize them directly. But I would like to draw your attention to the last number, 1728. There's a pretty interesting story related to it. In the early 1900s, there are two really famous mathematicians, and they are called Hardy and Ramanujan. They turn out to be two of the most prominent figures in modern number theory. One day, Ramanujan was sick, and Hardy, as his friend, paid a visit to Ramanujan by taking a taxi. When he got to see Ramanujan, Ramanujan asked, What's the number of the taxi that you took? Hardy said, It's a pretty boring number. It's 1729. Ramanujan said, No, this is a really interesting number. This is the smallest positive integer that can be written as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. You see, 
it can be written as 1 plus 1728 as well as 729 plus 1000. From this conversation, they develop an entire theory related to the sum of two cubes. Next, we have a list of powers of 2. You need to know them so well that when we talk about 32, you know that it's 2 to the power 5. When we ask you 2 to the power 7, you have to know 128 on top of your head. 2 to the power 10 and 2 to the power 20 are related to computer memories. For instance, 1 kilobyte is actually talking about 1024 bytes. 1 megabyte is actually talking about 1,048,576 bytes. As for 2 to the power 25, it's not very useful. It's just cute. 33554432. And then we have a small list of powers of 3. Notice that 729 appeared before. It's actually the same as 9 to the power 3. It's also the same as 27 to the power 2. Why? 3 to the power 6 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So if you try to group them as 3 times 3, 3 times 3, 3 times 3, you will have 9 cubed. If you think about this as 3 times 3 times 3, 3 times 3 times 3, because this is 27, we have 27 squared. Finally, you should try to remember all the primes that are less than 100. There are 25 of them, which is exactly 1 quarter of 100. Because numbers less than 100 are small, checking 2, 3, and 5 can rule out most of the numbers that are not primes. 2 and 5 are easy. As for 3, if a number has all the digits adding up to be a multiple of 3, then the number is a multiple of 3. For example, 87 is not a prime. Why? Because 8 plus 7 is 15, which is a multiple of 3. Therefore, 87 is not a prime. Finally, the only numbers left that are not primes are 49, 77, and 91. These three are multiples of 7. As long as you also remember them, then you're basically done. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel, and we will learn more fun math together. Thank you.